A local ad on Facebook is creating quite a buzz and sparking quite a few comments. A woman is offering up positive pregnancy tests with the promise of no questions asked. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is here with the story. Yeah, well, Jessica, the woman might be offering up positive tests, but the response she's getting for her services, mostly negative. The listing reads, need a positive pregnancy test? Don't worry, don't ask, don't tell applies. It was posted to an Albuquerque area online sale group yesterday. It's mind boggling right now. I'm just like, who, who would do that? I think it would be for a prank. You want to prank? It might be a prank. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think you would be serious. <laughs> But Facebookers suggest a woman might try to trap her boyfriend or scam him out of faux abortion money with it. It would probably end the relationship and I wouldn't, yeah. yeah, you'd be upset. I would be very upset, yeah. Well, hopefully you would never do that. I would never no. do that. I would never do that to you. This isn't the only ad floating around the Albuquerque cyberspace. A quick search on Craigslist, a woman who says she's seven months pregnant is doing it too. She's selling her positive tests for $25. Have you ever seen that before? No, but it's horrible. No, I've never seen it. While a lot of people we spoke with hadn't heard of this practice, it's not totally uncommon. Last month, a Florida news station tracked down a woman selling tests. She said it was easy to make hundreds in a day. Needing all this money to pay for a degree, this was like a no-brainer. As for our gals, the one on Facebook didn't message us back or call. The Craigslist woman didn't respond to a text either. Of course, this raises some moral issues, but as for the legal part of it, police say it's not a crime to sell a positive pregnancy test. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Madeline. The local ad on Facebook garage sale site has been pulled after a lot of people took shots at the woman who posted it. It's not clear if she's the one who took it down, though.